During my presentation, I will be describing the landing gear on my aircraft and also describing the different types of landing gears. We have conventional, tricycle, floats, and retractable. Conventional landing gear is set up to where the two main gear is towards the nose and you have the one small gear attached to the tail. In order to maneuver this aircraft on the ground, you would just apply brakes. So if you want to turn to the left, you would apply left brakes. If you want to turn to the right, then you would apply right brakes. Two advantages of having this setup is that you would have great propeller clearance due to the angle. And then you would never, I won't say never, but you would prevent tail strikes by having that small, tail, small wheel attached to the tail. Now one disadvantage would be just having a bad view over the nose. Now we have the float type landing gears. Floats are mounted under the fuselage to provide buoyancy, as you can see. And it's also attached with landing gears, which then turns this aircraft into an amphibious aircraft, which means it can land on sea and water. Now in order to turn this aircraft on the water, or maneuver the aircraft on the water, you would use the, the back rudder, the little small back rudder right there. Now we have the retractable landing gears, which is hydraulically actuated. The actuator is, or is encased in a cylinder body, and it has a push rod that's attached to a piston. And then once hydraulic fluid is added, it will push that piston, which will then push the landing gears. And I will demonstrate that on the board. So this is the cylinder and these are the this is the push rod and that's the piston when you add fluid into it, it pushes the rod down and then this landing gear goes up once you take away the fluid and the fluid goes out then the landing gear would drop down and then lock into place having this type of landing gear is great for Reducing drag since the landing gear is going to be tucked away. It's going to be a slicker and smoother ride through the air Now tricycle landing gear is what's equipped it to my aircraft The tricycle landing gear is a f is fixed gear, which means the gear doesn't retract at all It's just it's just fixed in that position and in order to control this aircraft on the ground You would use the rudder so the rudder is Attach, it's attached to the rudders and the nose wheel. So once you press right rudder, the nose wheel is going to turn by itself to the right. And if you want to turn to the left, then the nose wheel is going to turn to the left when you apply that rudder. Now, if you want to make a sharper turn, you would add a rudder and brakes. So if you want to turn to the right, you would step on the right rudder and then apply brakes. If you want to turn to the left, sharply then you would apply left rudder and left brakes one great advantage of having this setup is great visibility unlike the conventional it is not angled at all it is leveled and you will be able to see whatever is in front of you and then also your passengers will have a comfortable ride instead of leaning back the whole time and that would be it for my presentation